Okay, so this is um, a grazable cover crop which we planted after uh, winter barley. So this would have gone in the end of July, beginning of August. And the idea is it's here to provide the permanent cover. Um, as you can see, it's flowering, covered in butterflies and bees. We've got uh, two or three different types of stubble turnips, fodder radish, cecilia, some vetches, and some volunteer barley. And this will stay here till about Christmas time when we put the sheep on it. Um, the sheep will graze it and it will be an entry for a spring crop next next spring. But all the while it's here, it's capturing carbon and it's uh, slowing down infiltration. It's The roots are going down deep and helping with the soil structure. It's all direct drilled um, and it's uh, recycling nutrients. So it's a bit of a win-win crop. So we're in another field now of grazable cover crop. So this was planted about five or six weeks after the last one. So this was planted after wheat. Um, same mixture, stubble turnips, fodder radish, vetches, cecilia. And this will be uh, here over the winter, trapping carbon, slowing down the um, percolation of water, rainwater through the field. It's got a waterway, a ditch at the bottom. It's quite a steep slope. So this will help to slow any water flow down to that ditch. And then after Christmas, it'll be um, uh, fed, we'll put the sheep on it and it'll be um, an entry into a spring crop next spring. So this is a wildflower margin at the edge of a field of wheat. Um, doesn't look its best this time of year, but it's really been fantastic all summer. And although a lot of the flowers have gone over now, they'll leave all the seed heads for the um, birds through the winter. So we've got things like um, yarrow and oxide daisy and some vetches, some mallows, some grasses, some, um, uh, what else have we got in here? Some clover, some docks, which don't look particularly nice, but provide seeds for finches in the winter and some samphoin. And uh, yeah, this is in about its second or third year now. And in the winter it dies down the birds eat it. We sometimes maybe go over the topper before next spring and then it sprouts up and uh, yeah, great food for the birds, food for the insect. It's next to a hedge and uh, I'm sure there are lots of beneficials that would live in here that will then move out into the field and help with our pest control.